Sega Sonic fan here, just making a quick video to warn people, do not buy Behringer products. Don't buy Behringer project, pop products. Uh, this company, they make budget uh, foot pedals of all sorts. And I don't care how broke you are, you wanna stay away from these. They break so quickly and they are so janky. Uh, there is no uh, saving of 10 or 20 bucks that's really gonna be worth it. Um, this is a compressor and it's based off the Boss compressor pedal. I forget the model number, uh, but it's way worse, and I'm gonna tell you why it's way worse. Uh, the number one reason this one is garbage is it uses the lowest quality Alps uh, potentiometers. Uh, they're, they leave a lot to be desired. I'm not even sure they are Alps. They might actually be knockoffs. Um, they say Alps, but it doesn't mean everything. And they did a huge. They made a huge engineering flaw. This is actually something I see from time to time, but only in the lowest quality products. And that is the knobs that go over the potentiometers are not actually over. Like the the rim of the knob is not actually over plastic, like over a standoffs of some sort. Which means that every time you push down on this or you wiggle it a little bit, you're actually bending the knob itself, and that's bad folks. Like if, if this was a shorter shaft, you know, like a really short shaft, it's actually really, um, it actually goes for a ways. It's like maybe that long. Um, if it was shorter than that, that angling wouldn't hurt the, uh, basically the brushing element as much. Uh, but the way this is set up, it really does. And, uh, it's really bad. So the way that an engineer should have made this is these, Either, uh, either it should have this plastic. Actually, the easiest way would have would have, to do it would have been to actually lower this this plastic part, the Z height, down to almost where this line is, or maybe just a little bit above it, since that's the that's the break in the mold. Um, and they didn't do that uh, anyway. So as a result, your your knobs are, are definitely going to break. I used this all of three times before this first knob broke. Had to tear the whole thing down, and it's a rheostat. So fortunately, I was able to configure it. Um, with two of the pins as a potentiometer because it was the third brush that broke and I got it working again, but it will probably break again. One of the best things you can do if uh, if yours is broken like mine before, take these off. Just don't even use these uh, and then just use your finger because at least this might hit, you know, before something hits the knobs and you're not angling it as much and uh, there's just a lot less that can go wrong. So the other thing you can do, by the way, is I took, you'll notice I took off the actual foot switch here because I don't use it as a foot switch. I just use my finger. And rather than kind of push my finger way in there to get to the button, this is the, uh, the original button that was in there. Um, typical six millimeter DTS-6 tactile push button. Uh, what I ended up doing was getting one with a much higher height. I don't know if you can see that. A little light in there. But yeah, you'll see kind of right by the nine volt, uh, it's quite a bit higher, maybe like five millimeters higher. So now I can push that a lot easier. And uh, since I'm just using it for that feature, that's all I need. Also something uh, people should know, to take these apart is a little bit counterintuitive, uh, but actually there's these two springs uh, and you push them in uh, with a screwdriver or whatever, and then your, your hinging uh, foot pedal will clip out, uh, well, you know, pry out or whatever. Um, anything else I can say about this? Not too much. The circuitry itself on the board is like so-so. It uses a bunch of uh, low quality electrolytic capacitors, which is to be expected. Um, yeah, really, really folks, save yourself so much headache and failures at a show and get yourself uh, a real, a real pedal. Stay away from these Behringers. And that is my warning to you all. Uh, this, that's it for this video. Sega like Sonic fan, signing out.